A school in Jefferson County becomes the scene of a shooting. Gunfire ringing out in a hallway. Girl, I just heard a big boom. I, I got scared for myself. A teen rushed to the hospital, shot allegedly by one of his own classmates. They was having an argument before dude let out a gun. We didn't know he had a gun on him. Students evacuated. The image is all too familiar. Parents rushed to a local park. Their worst nightmare, now a reality. Scared. No, not be that Tonight, how it happened from an eyewitness, the arrest of the gunman in a neighborhood, the parents who want change, and the community that is badly shaken. Wave 3 News at 11 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Shannon Kogan. It is a terrifying first for Jefferson County Public Schools. A shooting on campus. This afternoon, police say a 16 year old gunman walked into Fern Creek Traditional High School on Bardstown Road and shot a 15 year old student in a third floor hallway. The victim rushed to the hospital. His injuries are not life threatening. The suspect arrested by U.S. Marshals and LMPD's Viper unit three hours later. 1400 students evacuated onto the school's baseball field while parents nervously waited to pick them up at a nearby park. Wave through news anchor Scott Reynolds was covering the story for us all afternoon from Fern Creek High School. He is there live tonight and what a terrifying afternoon for all involved, Scott. Especially those students, Shannon, because when the call for a lockdown came, they were between classes. They were in those hallways, in the stairwells, and then the call for a lockdown, and it could have been chaos and pandemonium. Amazingly, none of the students were hurt as they're trying to rush into a classroom to get in a secure location. But as they did that, and then they knew the suspect wasn't in the building, they moved those hundreds and hundreds of students to a nearby area here to the school, Fern Creek Park. But little did all those students know as they waited for their parents to pick them up that the suspect would be apprehended just a little more than a stone's throw away from where they were waiting. Theo Keith was there at this apartment complex this afternoon. Well, Scott, uh, police and U.S. Marshals fanned out and then they focused in on an apartment unit that's not at all far from where we are right now. That suspect is in custody. He faces several charges new tonight. U.S. Marshals and the Metro Police Viper Squad load their suspect into this black SUV. The arrest happened inside the park at Hurstbourne Apartments, just one mile from Fern Creek High School. Next thing you know, the kid pulls out a gun and he fires the gun. Hours before, witnesses saw the shooter arguing with another student on the third floor of the school. Then, says Fern Creek freshman Samuel Fraser, he fired. And as soon as I heard the gunshot, I basically knew what it was, so I didn't have any intent on really looking at him. I just wanted to get out of there. While police evacuated hundreds of students with hands on their heads, the shooter ran. Police tracked him through this neighborhood close by. You can see the officers holding guns about to search these woods. Tips brought them to this apartment building. And um, the next thing I know, they had the canines and Marshall's probably 10 deep. Phyllis Cavanaugh lives across the hall from where the suspect hid out and across from where a search that made national news came to an end. What does it feel like to be across the hall from where the shooter was arrested? It's scary. It's sad. Neighbors who saw the arrest say the suspect came out peacefully. But what provoked the shooting? At the suspect's Newburgh home, no one would open the door. Meanwhile, students were questioning how to stop this from happening again. Anybody can bring in a gun. All you have to do is put it in your bag. We haven't, we don't ever really get checked. Police have charged the 16 year old who they're not naming with first degree assault, wanton endangerment, possession of a weapon on school property, tampering with evidence and carrying a concealed weapon. He's locked up downtown in youth detention, Scott. And a lot more to be learned about him. Yeah, that's for sure. Why this happened and how long he had that gun and if he would brought it in before.